So you walk around your house half naked in the towel, right, Mom? I try to hit on my mom, and she just like totally rejects my advances. So we're gonna try this again. I hope you sh why is there lotion under my nose? Okay, that's cool. But I hope you showered this morning, Mom. You started without me? No, I was gonna say because we're gonna get dirty later. But I did shower without you. You didn't tell me you wanted to join. There's lotion right there under my nose. I see it. Let's rub that in. But yeah. So. Don't worry, we're in a towel. We're not completely naked. Only my mom can see that. No, I'm joking. I'm not showing my mom myself naked. She gets to see my real insides, like my spleen and my liver. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. All right, now I'm gonna, oh, there's my toilet. Now I'm gonna go. And now I get to spend just even more time being naked because like all my stuff is in the fucking dryer because I was on set yesterday, and I managed to have, like, it was either creamer or milk from Dunkin' Donuts, but I managed to have it explode all over me, so, like, my jacket literally was covered in fucking milk all day. Awesome, right? Yay. But, so now I have to, like, throw all my laundry in the laundry, or in the washing machine this morning, because I was fucking covered in creamer and milk, like, my leggings, my shoes, my jacket. Like, yeah, like, like, that's the luck I have in life, like, exploding fucking coffee creamer on me. I know, can you lower that a little more? Oh, this lighting's so bad. So I want to tell you guys two stories. One, my grandfather's like in this uh, rehabilitation place for like to build his strength, not for drugs. My grandfather's not a drug addict. We're getting that out of the way, number one. <laughs> number two, there's like this nine-year-old lady in there. So my aunt walks by and she's like, good night. And this old lady just says, go fuck yourself to her. Who the fuck are you? Or who the fuck are you? And then she gives my grandmother the finger. And then we found out this place... <laughs> and then we find out the place is kosher but like you can receive communion so like they let a priest in a kosher place which I find is interesting and then you can also like get a new boyfriend and girlfriend while receiving communion and simultaneously eating ice cream with who was the guy? Huh? Who was the guy who was serving ice cream? Vince? Venom! <laughs> That's my mom's ringtone. Yeah, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and so like we're in the lobby. And my, I was just like looking at the schedule. I was like, oh my god, he can receive communion. I didn't. I completely forgot it was like a kosher place. And they're like, you can't eat butter. And I'm like, we're gonna eat butter because we're not kosher. Like we're we we celebrate Christmas. Um, but my grandmother literally just fucking screams like, or says really loudly, how are they gonna have communion? It's a kosher place. And everyone's just like, what the? F it was funny. <laughs> he had to be there. And then she's like, why they just like let a priest in here? It was it was funny in the moment. It's not funny anymore. When you're watching TV with your mom and your future husband's on the TV. Oh god, he's so sexy. Like he's a cutie pie. He really is. Like I want to lick his face. <laughs> like I lick a cheese puff. He's like Leo. He has like the little line in between his two eyebrows. Oh my god, look. <laughs> he's like Leo, but he's cuter. He was my first love. He was the first guy I ever fell in love with, and he'll be the last when we get married and have little blonde hair, blue-eyed babies running around.